all right welcome back everyone welcome back to another chakra ui video and in this video we will go through uh the tools that chakra ui provides for us to customize our theme now chakra ui already ships with an excellent theme that you can use throughout your work but you know how it goes many times most of the time there is a special design and you want to integrate that into the theme and you want to customize your components whether it's the components of chakra ui or your own components with the colors of the brand or the app uh, like the product or whatever and chakra ui allows you to do that very very simply and today i will show you how to do that before we start you can depending on your whatever you, like which whatever you prefer to learn with whether you prefer to watch me or you prefer to go through the code and like read stuff you can follow through uh with the article which i'm going to leave a link in the description below and the article is on easyreact.com so i want to offer both like I offer the video and offer the written article depending on what whatever you like just you consume whichever you want um and also if you like this like and subscribe i'll be making more videos about chakra i apparently you guys really like chakra i absolutely so do i uh so let's get started now the way you add stuff and customize the theme in chakra i is by uh using um uh, yeah utility function called extend theme and extend theme is gonna give you a new theme that you need to provide to chakra provider so let's do that right away right off the bat because that's the most important thing now so let's just say that i'm gonna make a variable called my new theme oopsie my new theme right and then this variable for that variable what i will do is i'm gonna make a folder here i'm gonna call it styles and inside that folder i'm gonna call a file here theme.ts and inside here i'm gonna very simply just say export const my new theme and then this is going to be the return of the function called extend theme hopefully that has been imported beautiful extend theme now this function is really cool because it kind of like allows you to add to the theme without actually replacing it which is the whole point so i can simply do this now so i can do colors and inside of that i can like add new colors that i can uh, consume and you can actually and whatever colors that you add there you can simply use them like you use any other color which is what we're going to see now uh, so for now let's just do what let's just do nothing actually just not add anything and let's uh try to import this here and hopefully uh, vs code will be kind enough to import for me which is awesome so that's really good Cool. So now this is here. What we what we can do here now is we can do anything. And basically, we can have something like that, which is like a brand. And inside that, we can have primary. We can have primary. We can have secondary, and so on. So let's do that. Primary, and then secondary, right? And which is going to be something else. Now I don't like to have it inside of brand, but if that's your preference, you can do that. And then whatever you use these colors instead of. Um, let me just wrap that in brackets like this whenever you use these colors instead of doing like primary and secondary like we're gonna do we can simply do brand dot primary and so on cool now i don't like this so i'm simply just going to have it at the root like that now for the colors uh, i just went here to uh my color dot space i just added one of the colors that i kind of like and then they just generated stuff for me so i'm gonna use these colors as kind of like just yeah you can always of course generate whatever colors that you want but these are the colors that i came up with and i already have them here and i'm simply going to paste these colors there like i said earlier if you want to follow through and copy and paste the code you can click on the link in the description to uh to follow through with the article on easyreact.com cool now let's go back to here now that this is actually added I can actually start using them in uh, in whatever way I use all the other colors in uh, Chakra UI. So, for example, if I come back, if I come to this, for example, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this button, and then let me just uh, add another button, and let's hide this color theme. We don't need that anymore, and we can do this now. So I can do that. The background here is primary, and that should render. Um, uh, that should render a background primary color so that that color just came from where we uh, have put in it right there in fact i can also just uh, keep going so i can uh, call this primary primary cool i can call this primary and then i can also make another one and for this one let's just call it secondary 
secondary yep and then secondary here and then we can have this as secondary as well and these are all the colors like we, you can use all these colors that we actually just added so you can have a primary and you can have secondary and so on and this obviously this doesn't only apply to um to, to buttons you can use this in whatever you want basically it's just a color like any other color in chakra UI. so in the same way you use blue the 200 you can also use um, primary and secondary and all these uh different colors that we made so let's actually quickly uh put all of them here maybe nah i don't think all of them will add a lot of value let me get to the theme on this side so we can see what we have added again cool so let's not do highlight let's just do i don't know primary secondary let's just do warning as well so let's just do warning here and the background here is warning beautiful now uh there's a couple of things to note here. What we have done so far is just simply add new colors, but sometimes the requirements are actually a bit more than that. You can see these colors are already being styled with the variant of solid, right? And these colors, uh, sorry, these buttons are also don't really change based on the color, uh, the color mode of the app. So when you change here, it doesn't change, right? And we haven't really added how to say this like um it's not really a custom component it's just we just added a color and this is great for some uh for some usages so sometimes you just want to add this color to be able to use it but many times you want to add a custom component so you want to make your own custom uh button for example and for example right now chakra eye ships with a uh, couple of variants so we have solid we have outline we have uh, link we have ghost and these variants are actually uh, written in, in a very simple way and you can also add stuff to these variants of course this is being uh, overridden by this but simply like these variants are uh, a way that is deeply integrated into in the chakra eye system and you can also use it to make your own variants that is now this is really really cool what, but what basically what we're trying to do here is kind of like customize the components that came from Chakra UI. And the way I'm going to explain now can be used to customize components that came from Chakra UI and also can be used to customize components that you made yourself. But the, the API is very simple and it's really, really beautiful. So what I want to do here is I want to do something like this, right? So I want to get to a point where I can have, um, instead of just having changing only the, the background color, I can have a variant, called, uh, pri uh, a variant called primary. And that variant called primary, I can later edit from somewhere which is like super global in my app. Right now, this variant is not being recognized, <clears throat> so this is not going anywhere. Cool. Let's explore something here, uh, another property that you can pass into uh, extend theme function, which is components. Now, inside of components, you can pass uh, variables that kind of like express the way uh, that these components are going to be styled. Now, <clears throat> the way you do that is actually uh, in Chakra I, they already exposed to you uh, some kind of like standard way of writing styles for components like this here. So what I'll do is I'm simply going to copy this, which is really, really simple. I'm going to copy this. I will go back here and inside of styles here, I'm going to make a folder. I'm going to make this folder. I'm going to name this folder components and I'm going to make a file called button styles.ts.ts. Cool. And I'm going to paste this right away here and let's actually move it to this side and let's hide this. Cool. And now what I'll do, I'm just going to uh, like take away the default props. So we are uh, Gucci and then here export. Yes, export const. And then instead of uh, component style, let's just call this button styles. Cool. So this is button styles. Now inside of theme, what I will do is I'm going to import button styles as a button and keep this in mind because the, the variable that you pass into components has to match the name of the uh, component itself. And this is going to be import this from uh, here and think components and then button styles. Can you auto complete that for me? Beautiful button styles. Cool. Now I have this button variable here and I'm going to use this button variable here to simply go and uh, export it as part of the components. Now you will notice that nothing will change really like because right now we are passing in an empty object at this point but we can do so much more oh you guys are gonna love this we can do so much more with this 
So, and the first thing I'll do here, I'm simply just going to add a new variant, and that variant is going to be called primary. And here in there, I'm going to use the color that we just added, and you can see this is already 100% integrated into the way you write um, stuff in Chakra AI. I'm just going to add a, a variant called primary, and the background is uh, the primary color, and this is already being applied, which is ridiculously awesome. Cool, so that's the primary one. And then you can, ob ob obviously, the, the reason why we did all of this, not just to change the background, we can do so many much more. Sorry, this is, we can uh, change the color here to, oopsie, we can change the color here to white, beautiful. And then we can also change some stuff with the hover state. So we can do things like, I don't know, when you hover on it, Oopsie, when you hover on it, let's just uh, change the background color to secondary and let's just see how that goes for, for just, just for the case of just showing you what's going on, right? So now it's a primary button and I hover over it and it becomes a secondary button. This is just the start. A very cool thing that you can do with Chakra AI is actually that uh, you can pass a, um, a, like this part here, the variant itself can be either an object or it can be a function that returns an object. And this is very, very useful because now you can actually pass a function like this and do, 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 let me just wrap that primary there. Yep. Let me wrap this in uh, return brackets. Cool. And the reason why this is extremely cool is because you can use some helper functions uh, that come from Chakra AI. One of them is, for example, mode. Now, mode is going to be a function that will return two values, one value that is going to be applied for light mode and one value that will be applied for dark mode. So we can actually do some pretty gnarly stuff like this. Uh, I don't know, like this is going to be... Uh, so let's make a button that's primary in light mode and second, <laughs> secondary in dark mode. Well, why not? And then you need to pass props to uh, this function there. And look at that. So this guy is going to be primary in... Uh, oh, this is on hover. Yeah, so on hover, it's going to be hover to primary. But if you go to dark mode, you're going to hover on it. It covers to secondary. And that is only the start. There is a couple of more functions that come from Chakra AI theme tools that are very, very cool. So let's try this one. For example, this one is called Whiten. So what I will do here is I'm going to, uh, to make this make more sense, actually, I will uh, whiten the primary color by 20% in uh, white mode in light mode right and what i'll do also on the other side which is the dark mode i'm going to darken the primary color still darken the primary color by another 20 percent what i'm saying here is on hover uh the background color is going to be different for different color modes and it's kind of like becoming a little bit darker on dark mode and <laughs> look at this it's becoming a little bit brighter on Light mode. It's really, really beautiful. This is good, but we can take this one step further. Uh, let's add a box shadow, a simple one. Let's add a box shadow here. Box shadow here, which is MD. And again, you can still use this other stuff that you have added to your theme, whether it's box shadow that comes from Chakra I own forever. So when I, when I hover, there's this slight uh, box shadow to it, which is really cool. Another thing we can do also is we can have another variant that's a bit of an outline. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And I'm going to change this to primary outline. And uh, let's copy and paste this. And let's call this primary primary outline like that. All right. A primary outline okay cool now what i'll do here is i'm going to make sure that uh, the background here is transparent cool uh the color is actually yeah let's leave it a lot for now but we are going to give this some borders which is going to be one pixel solid and then the border color here is going to be primary because this is primary because this is primary outline right awesome and then another thing also i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna give it transition transition of uh, all uh, this is a string so all 200 milliseconds is uh, all 200 milliseconds is and when you hover on it what i will do is i'm going simply going to transform this to transform this to scale 
transform this to scale, very simple scale 1.0. Ooh, what happened there? Transform transform them to scale 1.02. Nice. What will happen here is we're going to see that right away is we will have, uh, yes, the reason for this is because I have color of white, I believe. Yeah, take that away. Ah, sorry, don't take it away. <laughs> we need that to be primary as well. So the color here is going to be primary. And then when I hover on it, this is still being applied. We don't really need that anymore because it's going to be um, an outlined. And when you hover on it, you see it's getting a little bit bigger and it's like kind of like coming at you and this uh, really subtle effect is really, really cool. And you can see also, you can obviously, like I just did, you can use props and change values from um, light mode to dark mode. I don't want to go into too much detail. This video is already a little bit long, so I'm going to stop here. You can see that there's so much things that you can do with this, and there will be more details if you click on the link in the description and go through to read the article, and also from there, you can download uh, the code repo. Thank you so much for watching, and like and subscribe if you like this video. If you have any thoughts, uh, um, just let me know what you think in the comments below. And more Chakra Eye content is to follow. See you guys later.